Song of Myself, Section 34 By Walt Whitman Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Davis Drake Now I tell you what I knew in Texas in my early youth. I tell not the fall of Alamo, not one escaped to tell the fall of Alamo. The hundred and fifty were dumb yet at Alamo. Tis the tale of the murder in cold blood of four hundred and twelve young men. Retreating, they had formed in a hollow square with their baggage for breastworks. Nine hundred lives out of the surrounding enemies, nine times their number, was the price they took in advance. Their colonel was wounded and their ammunition gone. They treated for an honorable capitulation, received writing and seal, gave up their arms, and marched back prisoners of war. They were the glory of the race of rangers, matchless with horse, rifle, song, supper, courtship, large, turbulent, generous, handsome, proud, and affectionate, bearded, sunburnt, dressed in the free costume of hunters not a single one over thirty years of age. The second first day morning they were brought out in squads and massacred. It was beautiful early summer. The work commenced about five o'clock and was over by eight. None obeyed the command to kneel. Some made a mad and helpless rush. Some stood stark and straight. A few fell at once, shot in the temple or heart. The living and dead lay together. The maimed and mangled dug in the dirt. The newcomers saw them there. Some half-killed attempted to crawl away. These were dispatched with bayonets or battered with the blunts of muskets. A youth not seventeen years old seized his assassin till two more came to release him. The three were all torn and covered with the boy's blood. At eleven o'clock began the burning of the bodies. That is the tale of the murder of the four hundred and twelve young men. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.